Okay, so we're here today to demonstrate a, a new terminal for the Inmarsat Global Express Network, the Skyway Technologies Atom 99. The Atom 99 is, is a unique product uh, to the GX network as, as the largest lightweight transportable terminal uh, for the GX network, which will support much higher performance and, and higher throughput applications. So what we're going to do is demonstrate the assembly uh, and the disassembly of the terminal. So, uh, this is a completely toolless assembly and what we'll do is we'll start with the base unit. The base unit will form the base of the tripod. A couple of things to note about this. Um, we want to ensure that the crank handles are to the rear, um, so there will be a single, a single leg uh, moving in the direction of where we want to point uh, the terminal towards the satellite. So we have three, three legs, um, all of them are the same except one uh, which has a recess on which we place the paradigm interface module. So this is the only leg that we want to make sure is towards the rear of the terminal. And it's very simple uh, to attach them. Uh, there's a little groove on the, top of the on the top of the leg. We hook into the recess and lock it into position. Okay, so the, the tripod is now assembled. One thing also that's worth doing is making sure that, that it is level. There's a little spirit level uh, on the, uh, the rear of the terminal and we can adjust, uh, adjust the, the level of the terminal simply by uh, loosening uh, these wing nuts on the side and adjusting the, the height of the leg as required to get the best level uh, with the bubble uh, in the center. Okay, also when we're siding the terminal, we want to make sure that we have a clear line of sight to the satellite uh, with no obstru obstruction in it, uh, which will uh, potentially degrade or block the signal. The next thing we want to do uh, is place the transceiver unit on top of the base unit. And again, uh, this is a very simple operation. On the bottom of the transceiver unit, we have two uh, little grooves which will lock uh, into two pins here and lock forward. So I simply line them up and lock them forward. Okay, now that the transceiver unit is in place, what we need to do is raise up the main pedal. There's two little clips on the bottom at the rear, we just clip them back. and that moves into place. And there's two clips on the front, we'll just lock that into place so it won't move. Okay, next thing we wanna do is place on the rest of the pedals. Uh, there are four more. What we'll do first is put the two side pedals on uh, and then the two top ones. The pedals are all unique to, to each of their positions so they can only go on one way, uh, but, you can, but the best way to know is that there's this little groove at the top. So we'll place this into position and then simply clip them at the back. With the last two pedals, you just want to connect them at the top before you seat them both down to ensure they all fit, and then clip them up. The last thing we need to do is just attach the Paradigm Interface Module. Just a couple of words about the, the PIM, which stands for Paradise, Paradigm Interface Module. This actually integrates the Inmarsat GX Core Module, which provides the connectivity to the GX network. On the top side of the PIM, uh, we have a number of connectors here, which connect to the terminal components, so the transceiver uh, and the power and control for the transceiver. On the bottom side of the PIM, uh, we have two power connectors for AC and DC power, as well as network and management ports. On the top side of the PIM, 
uh, we have the graphical user interface and the, the, the paradigm pointing to tool, which will help manually guide us uh, to the correct GX satellite. So on the underside of the pin, we have a lug, which simply slips in to this receiving port. And now we're ready uh, to cable up uh, the Atom 99. So as you can see, very easy uh, to set up quite a large terminal uh, that provides great performance, but also is uh, packable into two uh, airline checkable compliant rugged cases.